There's a surprising amount of these like B-grade mansions in New Zealand. Kia right guys, welcome to the Wholesome Half Hour. This week we're going, we put a post out on our Instagram and we asked you for your most amusing stories from primary school, ways you got in trouble, ways, all sorts of things. Just and general shenanigans. I've been heard, we, we tried to like save the organic reactions for the show, but I've heard that there's some good stuff. Yeah, I, um, I started looking through them before we started filming and then I decided that it would actually just be funnier to read them on camera. Yeah. Um, Cause, Oh my god, everyone submitted so many. Yeah. Like it's it's funny sometimes depending on what subject we post for about the amount of comments that yeah, we get from yeah. people. Um this one went off, like the, it popped off. Like sometimes we get like very like mediocre reactions. Mm. But, but like today, like I checked Sarah and just called everyone mediocre. <laughs> Um, yeah, we won't we won't delve into that. Um, but that was like I looked at it last night, like literally half an hour after I posted yeah. it, and there were already heaps. So yeah, it's been like over like sixteen hours since then. Yeah. So I mean, should we get straight into it? We yeah, were why we not? were talking about the idea of um, us sharing some of our primary school stories or like experiences and then we both realized that we were really boring well-behaved children yeah, so yeah, yeah. we don't really have many of those but I think if we see any reactions that um, like that, that might dredge up some memories some of these stories I yeah, think I so feel like it. we oh, might yes. uh if, if, if we anything does come to mind we can always just I save it for the for end my tea now. Oh, that really very nice. my life. very good all right, we're gonna get off the Trade Me Interiors Instagram page, no matter how much I love it. <sighs> so good. Oh, see, actually, here's, here's, here, oh, we're not even like two minutes in, and here's a, here's a side note. So you know how Instagram's got rid of likes? Uh-huh. I, I, I like the, the spirit that the move was made in, but like, if you can still see your own likes, what's the point? Yeah, okay. And I've got another issue with that is, um, like I read something somewhere and like while it may not be the main motivator it's definitely an impact of it is um with Instagram covering up their likes yeah and the amount of sort of engagements and things that they receive it really puts uh it makes Instagram in charge of a lot more of like the e-commerce and stuff of Instagram mm. like because not everyone has ready access to maybe like the popularity of something yeah. bar maybe like a number of followers um those who do like work like use instagram as their main platform for work and things yeah. like that um i think because of the way it is now it is if you're a business, more in, it's more in the hands of instagram than it was the the user if, you, yeah, if you're now. a business you have no comparative metrics to measure your engagement yeah, against. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of, um, it, I, I think if it is there to try and sort of mitigate this idea of likes validating who you are as a human, mm. first off, they should be getting rid of the amount of likes that anyone can see, regardless of whether or not it's your profile. Um, and also, I think, uh, see, I don't know, I, I just don't know that that's the best way of going about it. I don't think censorship is the way to try and actually change things within people because mm. it isn't going to instill a change in people it's going to instill a change in rules that people have to follow those aren't the same thing mm. like if the idea behind it is to motivate people to uh, maybe detract less from that kind of thing engage more in other things or not spend as much time comparing yourself like i fully understand that i think that's a noble thing um however i do also think that potentially having more censorship or more maybe like of a control over the actual problematic pages that are on Instagram, even YouTube or anything like that. We don't use any of the platforms really, so I can shade them as much as I want. Um, not really, but you know what I mean? I think they are going about it in all the wrong ways and the things that they are choosing to censor isn't what would effectively work and it's also not what people want. Um, I think the likes thing aside, um, like it's, I, I don't fully buy that it is for people's mental well-being. I think mm. I think there's an ulterior thing, conspiracy yeah, theory. It's, it's, Put your best conspiracy theory uh, in the comment section as to why Instagram is now covering up likes. Yeah, it, it's it's interesting. I think the spirit is well placed, mm -hmm. but I I don't know about the follow through. 
don't think we're actually going to see much. And it's unlikely yeah. to be, a, I, I don't know, I think it's unlikely to roll out worldwide, which means it will probably just lapse in New Zealand at some point. Yeah, I think, I don't really have an issue with it either way, but I think for those who are prone to maybe immersing themselves a little bit too much in social media, mm-hmm. um, I think it's much more useful for people to actually be consciously censoring and tailoring their feed and the people that they choose to follow rather than just cutting out likes altogether because the pages that I like, I follow because I genuinely enjoy their content, not because they're popular. I think a lot of people like follow like really famous people for yeah, no reason yeah. other than they're famous. Like if yeah. you're not enjoying their content, if you're not enjoying what they're putting out, um, like, why are you following them? Like, it would be like me following a Kardashian. Like, why would I do that? Yeah. Why yeah. would I do that? Oh, I wouldn't. Can you tell me? Because it'd be a waste of my time. <laughs> sorry to everyone who's watching that does follow the Kardashians. I'm not that sorry. Anyway, we should do some stories. <laughs> yeah, let's do some stories. Let's, let's be more wholesome. Okay, so I think, I think we're just going to, like, power through. Cool. Um, and just enjoy some laughter, enjoy yeah. some banter. It's going to be great. We're going to have a good time. Okay, okay. starting up. Um, I, I wrote Jingle Bells on a desk in year four or five because it was Christmas and I was a snazzy kid. And my teacher kept the whole class in for the entirety of lunch because she was so livid about it. Yeah. Oh, like it reminds me of those like classic lines you get from teachers. It's like when, when you start cutting into your lunchtime and the teacher's like, not my time you're wasting it's your own like every time yeah, right yeah, like it's yeah, like the yeah, classic yeah. teacher one-liners to try and like get that class together um some co- kids stood on my hand so i poked my tongue out at him and i got in trouble that's that's unfortunate actually this reminds me of something from my high school experience go on because in year 10 i was not much more mature than a primary school age child. I mean, this will make sense at the end of the story. But like this guy like tried to like whack me and I like I like diverted his arm to like there was like a sundial nearby and I kinda of, like <laughs> pushed his hand onto like the top of the sundial and he never spoke to me again. Well you stopped bullying you, right? Yes. There we go. It was effective. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep a sundial handy. We at endorse all times. mild levels of violence. We do not endorse mild levels of violence. <laughs> Extreme. You go all in or nothing. Come on. <sighs> Everyone should know this. <laughs> I'm getting Yikes. it. Okay. Throwing a basketball in the air because I thought it would float like a helium balloon. Yes. Uh, Need to learn some basic physics. I love. I just. Do you know interesting though? I. I think. I think it's just one of those things that like you laugh at it because it's silly, but you also laugh at it because you know that as a kid you probably would have done something very yeah, similar, working yeah, yeah, with some yeah. another very poor line of reasoning that you just think will work, and it just doesn't. Yeah, it's it, it's interesting because yeah, my mum's a preschool teacher. I just like always hear these stories of what preschoolers do. It's just like. I, when you get old, you kind of just like think within like the frame, like the bounds of the world. But as yeah. a child, like you're so that doesn't much exist. more you don't likely even know to it think exists. outside like oh, the box. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was put in timeout for coughing too hard. <laughs> Yikes. That's that is unfortunate. That is. Um, it's, I feel like it's one of those things. Like teacher was probably having a hard day. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Please bear in mind your teachers are also humans and they probably had a really bad day and I mean they shouldn't be taking it out on you but like sometimes it happens. <laughs> um, one time I said my teacher looked like Kylie Jenner's dog and I almost got expelled. Yikes. <laughs> I'm proud. What a savage. Yeah. Interesting choice. I got pushed over in year one, cross country. Year one, cross country. And the teacher made me keep going, even though I was bleeding lots. Yeah, Do you remember those um, bommy knockers? Is that what you call them? I think different regions no call them different things. Uh, people from Hawke's Bay will 100% know what I'm talking about. And if anybody else also knows, then like, awesome. Oh, but if not, this is just a straight Hawke's Bay chat. Um, bommy knockers were a... Um, It was like an encasement for a seed that came off a tree, but it was spiky. And like the really fresh ones were like green. 
Oh. And then like the older ones went like a brownier color. And then like and when they like dry up. And like stick to like clients and stuff? No, those are smaller. Oh, okay. Those those are like that big. Bobby knockers are like that big. Okay. But like, I don't know why, but every school decided that they would like decorate their whole school with them. And then also ask the children to run around barefoot. Um, and I hope you see the problem. <laughs> Okay, I don't think we, I don't know, I do not think we have that particular plan. Right, no. okay. But yeah, no, it, it was at my primary school, it was at my intermediate. Yeah. I think it wasn't at my high school. That was where they drew the line. But like, <laughs> I, they're called other things as, now, as well. I can't remember the other names of them, but um, we always called them bommy knockers. Yeah, interesting. I don't know the logic. It's, that's such a kid name as well, right? Like, <laughs> bommy knocker. Um. Uh, <laughs> I always got in trouble for leaving the E off the end of the in my writing. If it, if it was like the E on like any kind of word, I think I would be a little bit more forgiving about it. But if it was just that one word that you're really struggling with that's frequently used, yeah, that's, that's more funny than anything. Actually. Yeah, it's amusing. <laughs> I was like thinking about this, like, I don't know, I was never that, I wasn't like terrible, but I was never like an amazing speller. And I'm still not. I think the funniest thing for me was not myself, but my sister. Yeah. Um, she actually, she, she had this funny thing where she would try to put an E at the end of everything. Right. Like, right, right, right. She, she knew that E is quite frequently at the end of English words, even if you don't necessarily hear them. Mm -hmm. So her way of going about that was just slapping it on the end of every word. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the funniest thing. But yeah, yeah, that was definitely her... Spelling struggle. <laughs> Remember those like those books where they have like, like they have the two lines and then they have like the dotted line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just it's bring all those back, back man. Yeah. Pretty sure you book, can packets. Still buy book packets. Book packets. <laughs> oh, like the velcro. <laughs> like book envelopes are like, this like with big. the velcro. Yeah, 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 yeah and you'd have like yeah, your reading yeah. log in there oh. and your book. You read it home that night to your parents and sign off your log. Oh, mm. we're going down a trip down there. Do kids still have those? I hope so. They're so pure. Because, like, some of them, like, had, like, the school name, like, printed on them sometimes. Yeah, I just got to... I school. always remember it was a very big decision at the beginning of the year. What deciding what Yes! Yeah, yeah, deciding yeah, which yeah, colour. Yeah. And also um, the Duracell that you had on all your books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you'd have those people that went through magazines for, like, hours and yeah, hours and, like, and stuck them all on the clear ones. And I was, uh, yeah. yeah. I got yeah, some yeah. of those holographic designs. Oh, mean. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, remember, I remember, like, going to, like... Like perusing all the bookstores to like yeah. ensure that I had considered like the entire range Needs of possibilities. To match my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> the full range of book packets. <laughs> How good. Um, hanging out with my sister who was two years younger because we didn't look alike. What was the question that you asked properly? I, uh, it was a bad thing. I, I spent like two minutes trying to phrase this and in the end it still wasn't that good right but the way I phrased it was ever get in trouble for something out of the box in primary school to Wait, ask your primary so school so someone stories. got in trouble for that yeah 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 that's the implication yes because they didn't look alike they got in trouble for saying as in I don't know you're, ha you're hanging out with like a random like younger kid I don't know that's so weird that is kind of random yeah oh <gasps> Somebody snapped one of those glittery water stick pointers that they use for the, like, you know, those really long wand ones and they've got glitter oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. and you turn it each way. What do they use? I, I know what they you're talking pointers. about. What do they use? They'll book pointers. Like you'd have like the big uh, massive book at the beginning of yeah. the, the front of the class that you'd yeah, yeah. be reading off and they'd use the wand. Oh, Either that or just like point out people in the class or yeah. like just point to things. On. It's just a pointer. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I'm just starting to think. Okay. To maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm underestimating the age of my audience. But like, I re like when we were <coughs> when we were in primary school, classrooms didn't have like projectors in them. Like no. that wasn't a thing. No, no. And, Do and, kids have, like nowadays, like primary schools have those, right? So when I was in primary school in my last year, so year six, um, I. Our class was one of the first classes to get like what they called like an interactive whiteboard. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. those were very fleeting. I don't think those actually really like got off the ground that much. Yeah. Um, some we also school, had them at some intermediate, schools have them. Yeah. yeah. Um, we I was in a class of like there were like one or two classes in the entire school that was like picked to sort of trial them. Yeah, yeah, and I remember yeah. I got that sort of like midway through towards the end of year six, and yeah. that was like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I remember... Also having four four computers in your class. You'd have four. 
Yeah, yeah. Back to back. See, okay, back so I went, I went to a private school, and even there, so this was in, like, I started school, I, I was in year one in 2003. Like, this was, this was a while ago. Wait, sorry. Oh, 2003. I thought you said 2013 for no, a second, no, and I was no. like... Um, and yeah, I remember like when from when I was in year six, we had like sm- we had smart boards in every class. Yeah, I think schools they originally uh, they, this smart board and this active board. I think schools originally worked, uh, not originally, eventually worked out that it makes the more differential, sense have... the differential like quality of having like a smart or active board versus just having a projector was like fairly minimal. Yeah, and oh, like 100%. the cost difference. And was if anything, very large. like it was actually more time consuming because I even even as a kid I remember like it being quite laggy and like a bit difficult to yeah, work the tech, with. The tech was not quite in there. its infancy. Yeah yeah, yeah. I, I imagine it would be a lot better now um, if they're still kicking. Yeah. Um, but yeah I, I do remember at the time like being asked like oh write something up on the interactive whiteboard and you'd be like ooh I'm And so like the, you'd have to align it sometimes because the yeah. alignment or, or with or the candles are great. Yes yes and yeah. you'd have to touch all the different oh my god I Yeah you have to so touch old. the corners yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh this makes me feel old. No, because, because now they're way they have ones with like they have like short throw projectors mm-hmm. so like because you know how like the projector used to be yeah, yeah, yeah. the projector's like mounted like a meter away and it's yeah. like hanging off and like because of that the alignment's like perfect and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we did have those. But back in back in back in my day. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I got in trouble for stealing back my high school musical two jandals that somebody stole from me. Oh, is that what I had no I I saw this and I had no idea what HSM two stood for. Like. You either live the life or you don't. You're either in the club or you're not. You're not. Um, my friend left her iPad at school. The teacher took it home and told her she sold it. Odd. I hope they returned it. Ugh. Very odd. Also, who's taking iPads to... This is, this is like a new... Are kids taking like iPads to primary school? Is this yeah. how it works? Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Wild. Yeah. Oh, Hattie. I feel really old now. Hattie used to get told off for sighing too much. <laughs> I'm so really sorry amazing. that, like, breathing was very annoying to your teacher. I, I didn't know this, but I only found breathe, out or? this, no, no okay. a, a, bre- a sighing-related issue. I only realised this after my best friend, like, sat in front of me in an NCA exam once. Yeah. And supposedly, and, like, now I know I do it, but at the time I, like, just oh, like wasn't sighing. Soft. I yeah. sigh, like, like supposedly, like, every five minutes, like, yeah. during exams. I think... I just didn't realise. Okay, so I have a theory about this, because yeah. I, think, I think a lot of people do it, but I think there is, like, a shared reason why people do it. Or, or maybe I'm just, like, forcing my own sort of experience on other people. But I think whenever I get nervous for something... I feel really short of breath. Yeah. Like, oh, like when we're filming. Yeah. So whenever Saren and I are filming together, it's really funny. Apart from doing ones like the wholesome half hour where it's not scripted or anything like that. Um, I, before I shoot something, I breathe really loudly. Yeah. And I feel like I'm struggling to get in enough air. And I have no clue why. I think it's like a nervous response. Um, and I think it's a similar thing for when you're in exams and stuff like that as well. You're just trying to like get enough oxygen in no, your body I, I and think it just sort is, of ends up resulting in a bit of a, a there louder There is experience. something like that. Because like, yeah, it's definitely, I, I record a lot of videos and like one thing you like really, <laughs> you hear really often and you have to like edit around is like before people talk, they'll take like a really loud, like a really loud sharp breath yeah. just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, like you have to edit it out, otherwise it sounds like I'm really I'm trying random. to get better at it. I think I'm better at it. But like, it, it, but I don't know, a lot sure. of people do it instinctually and I don't think they know. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Also, if you're ever on video, make sure your mouth's well hydrated because otherwise your mouth makes these like weird like... The like, the, like yeah, like... Sounds. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, yeah, Just 100%. Pro, pro-life term. 100%. We okay. keep talking for too long and then my phone's great. <laughs> okay, well, I've been keeping on top. Um, I made a crude kid cry because he wouldn't co-star in my puppet show. That's showbiz, baby. Um, I want to know what you did as a punishment to this kid for not accepting your request to co-star a puppet show. Yeah. Um, but I would have 100% been there for you. So. Playing ball tag. I mean, yeah, everyone gets in trouble for that. Like, everyone. Because it's so dangerous. What? We, what, what we ball throw, tag. You throw the ball. Yeah. The okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, another big one. It's a very school, tame child, eh? Another one at my school was Poltag. Um, so, similar concept, but 
you have to keep running around. You're, you're not allowed to stick to a pole for too long. But if you are touching a pole, you're mm. safe. And if you're not touching a pole, you can get tagged. Um, but the, in, in my primary school, we had like a lot of the like covered sort of things. And so they had a lot of poles. And so it was like a very good game to play for that. But you always, always had people go just a little bit too hard and trying to get to a pole. And there were a lot of collisions. <laughs> A lot of collisions. Yeah. <laughs> Students going straight into a pole. Um, but yeah, ball tag, definitely way more dangerous. And also, like, there is a lot of uh, uh, innocent bystanders that can get caught up in a game of ball tag. Um, Sang boys to men and made a girl cry. Got sent home. I don't know that song. Yeah, no, I don't either. Oh, no, boys to men is a, is a group. Damn. Yeah, I think that's Ronan Keating's group. That's my understanding. Right. Yeah. Um, do you know who Ronan Keating is? Okay. Um, Move right along. Got sent out of class after laughing at the name Fanny in a book. <laughs> Very interesting. It's, it's so funny how, like, even when you're grown up, there's still, like, a little bit of, like, a... Yeah, yeah, and that yeah, kind of yeah. thing, even though you know that it's valid and it's fine, there's just like yeah. this inner child that's so immature and just refuses to grow up. <laughs> um, I told my class that I'm from Greenland because my last name is Green. I was a weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that's that's not super unusual. I think I've heard of like people yeah, doing like I... similar things, not like countries, but yeah. using parts of their last name. Yeah, I, I have a friend whose surname was. His surname was Helen Clark, and this was in like 2006 or whatever when, yeah, when yeah, Helen yeah, Clark yeah. was prime minister, and everyone used to ask him if he was related to Helen Clark. It's not. That's not how the surnames work. So, not. so you find out when you're not in year two. <clears throat> um, next one was asking too many questions in a lesson. Apparently, it takes away from others learning. I think. Mm, see, this one I think is actually like to an extent. I think sometimes teachers actually just don't engage enough with the class and mm. hear what the class is saying because I do find that quite frequently if one person is saying something it's because there's probably a few people also struggling with the same thing yeah um oh, on the flip side of that I also do know that there are sometimes you're in a class and somebody just keeps talking and you're just like oh my god just stop let us get on with our lives um, I think it's a balance between the two. I think if you are like really struggling with something like specifically, you're probably better off speaking to like your teacher at the end of the class or like asking a friend for help or something like that. Um, but it's kind of, you shouldn't be afraid to ask questions. Yeah. But if it turns into like a, like a whole lot of back and forth or something like that, yeah. then it's probably something best reserved for like a different time. Yeah. You know what I hate? This is completely off topic again. Uh, is like, actually, what if I, I'll, I'll, I'll explain and then I'll come back. Is when like, at like Q&As, like, like at like, um, at like, uh, I'm thinking. You do say like a lot. Sorry, I'm sorry. It's like my. Uh, I, I'm bad for it as well. It's my, it's my default filler word. Yeah, like, it's yeah. Just like, Everyone's um, got one. Like, yeah, 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 100%. Um, <laughs> sorry, I've made you too aware of it now. At, I was at the film festival the other day and a lot of these screenings have Q&As at the end. Right. And the most annoying thing is when someone gets in a back and forth yeah. with, the, with the director or whoever's running the And it's, it's the difficult for the director or, yeah, again, the person who's running it because you can't be rude and say... I'm sorry, can I, yeah. you know, can you sit down or something like that? It's the same thing in a lecture. Oh, I when think when they, somebody decides to take it upon themselves yeah, to have yeah. a quarter all with the lecturer <laughs> across the class and you're like, cut it out. No, I think they anticipated that because this was a political film as well. So, like, ah. as soon as the questions were finished, they, like, removed the microphones from the person. And it was at the embassy, so it was a sufficiently large cinema that you yeah. weren't going to be able to converse without the microphone. It was, right, right. Well, I thought yeah. it was no, because we're doing presentations in one of my classes at the moment, and the advice our lecturer gave to the entire class is don't engage in it. Q&A session with only one, like, don't engage in a back and forth. No. Nah. Yeah. And because most of the time... You don't have the answers for that person yeah, anyway. Yeah, that person's and like, usually just, looking for too specific of an answer. Yeah, or they're just barking up entirely the wrong yeah. tree. And yeah. That's another frequently one. Mm. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Throwing bark at cars. 
I saw a stick in a car once by accident. Actually, I do have a primary school story. So I've got a few, but yeah. we had a walnut tree outside of our school. Yeah. And by the parent, oh, by the uh, teacher car park, um, there was this sort of um, brick. Uh, what are they called? Um, marquee type thing. Yeah. Um, and it was, had brick pillars, and the walnut tree was right beside it. And this was in the like the front field of the school. And what we would do as kids is take all the walnuts from the bottom of the tree that have fallen, throw them at the brick pillars to crack them open so we could eat yeah. the walnuts. Um, but quite frequently, we would just hit teachers' cars. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So I. I had... But also the walnuts were delicious. <laughs> I like a situation, like, I can't remember why, but for some reason, I don't know, there was this stick and I, it was like a large, it wasn't, it like, a, it wasn't a like a twig, it was like a, it was like a small branch. Okay. Uh, and for some reason, like, I really didn't want it around, so I like just threw it and it like ended up on the road and then like a car like smashed it like <laughs> yeah. 10 seconds later. Yeah. Um, nothing ever happened, but like, yeah. Oh, there was always there's always that kid that's like, I'm gonna get in trouble now. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh, that one for that one person that's like, I'm gonna go tell a teacher, yeah, and you're like, yeah. like hell you are, like get get back here, <laughs> let me convince you that I'm not in trouble. <laughs> okay, um, being inside at lunch to go to the toilet. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. That's like. Stop peeing outside, just to make a point. Don't do that, that's Don't terrible that. advice. <laughs> I hid my cucumber sandwiches behind the computer desk and got lo in loads of trouble. I want to know if you were hiding them from other people so you could eat them, or you're hiding them so you could like say that you ate them to your parents when I you think got home. That's, I think that's the more like. I love cucumber sandwiches. Yes. I refuse to believe that somebody wants to hide their cucumber sandwiches <laughs> behind yeah. a lip. This is, this is a common thing. I remember getting, I, I, getting in trouble for not eating all your lunch. Or um, like just trying to trade. Like yeah. you always had that one friend that always had sick ass lunches and you were like, I would trade you like a pack of chips for like this homemade thing. And the person who always had the really sick lunches just really wanted like the cheap yeah, crap yeah, 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 because yeah, they like yeah, didn't yeah. get it that often. Yeah, yeah. When, um, cause my, my dad's work is like seasonal. When he was like on his off season, um, the quality of our lunches <laughs> as kids like skyrocketed. Like we had like real bougie sandwiches. Yeah. Like dad would like make it all for us and stuff. And we had like real, real good lunches. Yeah, that's very amusing. No shade, mum. <laughs> but dad makes way better lunches. No, I than remember you. like you had to, you used to have to like show the teacher your lunchbox before you got to play. This was like year one to three. What? Like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to like have, or maybe year one and two, like definitely like earlier, you had to like show the teacher your lunchbox to like prove that you ate before you could go. Actually, that, that does ring a bell for me as play. well. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, I right. hated that because I don't know. I was, yeah, I was an interesting child. I remember getting in trouble for not eating all my lunch, even though I was genuinely full. Apparently, it was because all the teachers thought I was being starved. I'm not sure if I buy into the second part. What? I don't, well, how would you know that as well? Like, how, how, do, how do you know? Well, if you're not eating all your lunch, like, I don't, I don't understand the, like, the connection here. Like, if you had food in your lunchbox, how would you be starved? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't understand. It, it feels like there's more to this story. Yeah. I would I feel, say there's I more feel to you it. Might be right. Yeah. Okay. Thought the new international. This is me. Oh, no. No, no, you should. Taught the new international student yeah. how to swear in English with my friend in year, <laughs> year two. Animals, a lot of you. But Disappointed. Also, but also like, kind of really funny. Okay. Got stood up in front of the class and roasted for dotting my eyes with love. <laughs> That's very cute. It's so nice. Wait. Okay, actually, I have a story after most of these. Um, I've got really, really weird handwriting. Um, yeah. Kind of just like annoying to read more than anything. Um, if if Saren can be bothered, he can put like a sample of my writing up here right now. Um, I don't think he will because no, we're gonna forget. So, sorry, guys. Um, but <laughs> I was I was told when I was in year eleven by a particularly irritating teacher um, yeah. for multiple reasons, and not just for me. I didn't have a personal vendetta against her. I just thought she was kooky as hell. Just. Elevator wasn't going on the top floor. Anyway, um, she told me that t uh, markers would refuse to mark my externals because my handwriting was so bad that, or so illegible that um, they would see it 
struggle to read it and just like mark it as like a not achieved or like not assessed, yeah. um, not marked. Um, I mean, she was lying because. If your handwriting's stupid. unreadable, it won't get marked. But the standard has to be like pretty low. Yeah. It will usually get like, like if a marker can't read it, it'll usually get like passed on. Yeah. And it's only if you get like passed down like 10 people who can't read it. Then yeah, you... that's, that would then be the problem. But yeah. I think, yeah, she was just like so quick to like put her opinion in yeah, absolutely yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so shut up. Um, <laughs> I mean, I got away with pushing someone off the top of the climbing wall. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, man, it does. Um, you got away with it though. So like, well done. I'm proud of you. Um, eating a leaf. I, I see that one's, I don't know that you, like, it's funny that you got in trouble for that one, I think, because I have a very distinct memory in primary school of playing, like, truth or dare with my mates, because that was, like, a new thing at the time. I was like, ooh, <laughs> yeah, I did that. Yeah, very exciting. Um, and somebody dared me to eat a daffodil. <laughs> um, just, just a petal, I think. Um, I did it. I don't know, I, a lot of boys, I remember, would, like, eat grass, like, just to make a point that they could eat grass. Yeah, like, hey, I'm living off the land. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Cool, dude. Cool, yeah. <laughs> you also got a sandwich, like, like in your cow me. now. Like, what's the deal? Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand why you'd be told, like, maybe you shouldn't do that in the future, but I don't know that it's necessarily something that requires, like, getting in trouble for. Yeah. Like, it's probably like a, hey, maybe don't do that again. Um, but yeah. Killed a wasp, then the teacher got angry at me because now it can't make honey. <laughs> Yikes. <coughs> uh, so sorry for you. Mm. Um, in year one, I couldn't finish my lunch. Principal yelled at me and told me I couldn't play until I finished. That's exactly what you're talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, This is like a it's thing. It's such a thing. Yeah, it's interesting. I, yeah. It's an interesting, I don't know. It's one of those things that's like, like under it is like a good set of values, but the way it manifests can be kind of strange. Yeah, I think like, it, it, it's a, for the exact same reason that I really didn't like, I mean, you should have hats while you're at school, like, excuse me, um, you know, being sun smart is safe and like, uh, particularly in New Zealand, like I'm not taking that away from it at all. But like when people didn't have their hats, they just had to like sit on their own yeah, in the shade yeah, somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. like an outcast. And it was really, it was just really not nice, I think. There are much better ways of communicating to someone that it's important that you wear a hat. It's important that you bring your lunch. It's important that you, you know, eat when you um, need to and stuff like that. Yeah. Without the only alternative to that being some form of punishment. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I, I imagine... I think I it know. was just like to them the easiest way of going about it. Yeah, I, I, I could be wrong, I could, but I have a feeling that now... It might be slightly di like the way some of these things might be adult, but might be slightly different. Mm. I don't know. It's I, I don't know. I feel like uh, when we went to school was a bit was kind of the transition between yeah, the, yeah. kind of the old old era or the like older style of teaching. And like, Sorry, I'm reading more of them. Yeah. Now you're starting to get some more. I think like, I think yeah. it is like becoming a bit more maybe like progressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, um, my whole class hid under our desks instead of going to jump jam. I have no clue why you would ever want to skip jump jam ever, but I applaud you for your effort. Jump jam was sick. I feel like it, like you hit a point in year five or six, I think, where you think to yourself, I'm too cool for jump jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, care yeah. about it. I am way cooler than this bald man that's dancing in front of yeah. me with two weird backup dancers. <laughs> Newsflash, you're never too cool for him. He's too cool for you at all times. And I will 100% do jump jam now. I think, like, you get to a point where you think you're too cool. And then later on, you're just like, it's fun. And yeah. I don't care. Yeah. It's yeah. just a good bit of, like, yeah. you know, there's no reason to take away from it. It's just fun and it's just kind of stupid. Yeah, no, I agree. Just enjoy it for that reason. Uh, <laughs> Telling someone the wrong spelling to a word. <laughs> oh, no. I feel like that's like yeah. the older version of changing somebody's autocorrect on their phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. yeah. Got in trouble for playing on the computers in the morning tea at lunch. That was definitely a thing. The, oh, yeah, 100%. That was definitely yeah. a thing you'd get in trouble for. Back in Moido. 
Um, I got a detention because I left before I was dismissed at lunch, but it was my second week there. I didn't know the rule. No uh, one told me it was a rule. That's very know. annoying. That's annoying. I feel like it's one of those things where, like, it's one of those things that's so central, like, a partic- to a particular school, like, they just might not consider the fact you don't know. Yeah, like, yeah, they just like, assume like, that it's just universal like, knowledge yeah, at this yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. Um, I threw my jelly at someone's marbles on Marble Day. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> marbles got banned from my school, eh? Marbles? They caused oh. too many issues. Like, what? I remember what kind of they issues were around in, like, year one, and then they're they, so like, pure. No, nah, they were bad, though. Right? Nah, mate. No marbles. I refuse to believe that. I still have a box of marbles somewhere. Like, a very wide variety as well. I think I might somewhere as well. Like, I have some, like, sick, like, some premium marbles. Do you know what I was good at? Uh, knuckle bones. I'll destroy your knuckle bones. Okay. It's a matter of honour. <laughs> True, with such disregard. Anyone else who, like... Nose knuckle bones. Nose it's just fun, but it's fun to be good at it. <laughs> um, the only time I was ever on blue, which I assume is like a warning type thing, um, was when I fought over my now best friend over a red Jovi in year to zero. <laughs> That's amazing. Crayons. No, a Jovi. It's uh, different. Yeah, 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 what, what it's like a more firm. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I think I like crayons, I think. Oil pastels? Chalk pastels. Pas- oil pastels Ooh, are very good. Oh, give me some black paper and some chalk pastels. Pastels are very good. I yeah. actually forgot that they're... Just blending. Just having a fun time with colours. It's amazing. Yeah. I was never... I was re- I, actually, it's, fu- it's funny how life's turned out. But I always remember as a child, like, really, like, liking being creative and, like, doing art and drawing and stuff. But I was never... You know, like, there's always kids who are, like, yeah. quite good at drawing. Yeah. My drawing was terrible. Like, I couldn't... Like, I couldn't draw faces and stuff very well. Yeah, but I think... Like, Look at me now. Okay, so I, <laughs> I actually have, like, kind of beef with this, is yeah. I really dislike when people say, oh, I'm just not good at art, or, yeah. like, something like that. Because it's the exact same thing as saying something like, oh, I'm just not good at math, or oh, I'm yeah. just not good at science, or I'm just not good at English. It is... Like a skill. Yeah, and yeah. yes, some people have a natural ability to pick it up. Um, some people have a naturally a really good eye. Mm. But that doesn't mean that they don't practice and yeah, they also that's, that's try to true, get better. I think, I think, sorry, just a weird spiel. But like, you can build on literally any skill. You're not a that person because you're choosing not to be a that person yeah. because you're not practicing it you can practice art you can practice perspective you can practice how to draw in various styles doing various different things like it just because you weren't born with this knowledge within you doesn't mean that you never can or never yeah, will yeah yeah no, and, and that goes for like yeah. literally any skill Think about anything that you might have picked up recently that you didn't know about beforehand. Like when I decided that I wanted to take up embroidery. Yeah. Like, well, I, I didn't know. just naturally know how to do it. You have to look it up and you have to work yeah. on it. And I mean, I, I guess like a classic example, some of our audience may not know how to do, some of our audience may not know how to drive yet. Yeah. But like driving is one of those skills when, when you're 30, you probably just take for granted. But like yeah. when you were like 15, like a competent <laughs> individual, couldn't drive. But also it's one of those things that different people have a natural ability to maybe pick up driving quicker than other yeah. people. Like everyone's got their one friend that they low-key fear for their life for every time they get in the car together with. Yeah. And but more or less once you hit, you know, say something like 30, just really far down the track, mm-hmm. everyone is more or less the same. Yeah. And unless they have like, you know, got a lot of driving experience, they might be better. Yeah. But you sort of eat, reach a pretty equal playing field. And it's because nobody was born with the ability to just know how to drive. Yeah. You were born with the ability to know how to do that. You worked on it over all those years and you built up skills. Yeah. Um, to be honest, this could be a primary school story, but in year nine, I got a lunchtime detention for forgetting my ruler. That's annoying. That's, I hate that. Yeah, I you hate... had to have all the stationery. Eh? This is considered very important. That, that was something that really frustrated me uh, it, for the exact same reason it's the hat thing is yeah. if you've genuinely just forgotten something why are you punished for that like yeah. you should be given maybe skills to be able to like maybe like a strategy like okay uh you know 
it may, maybe it's just better that you get like another ruler that you have specifically for your pencil case or for school or something like that. Oh, and PE keep another one at was home. A classic. Yeah, PE gear. Yeah. Like the thing. Okay, PE was interesting because okay, yes, sometimes you generally forget your PE gear, but there were also always kids who like took advantage of that. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. And there's always going to be that, but I don't think every punishing the, someone the for removing their lunch from them because they forgot a ruler. It's seriously so stupid to say out yeah. loud, right? Yeah. It sounds silly. Yeah. And in and, and, and action, it's also very silly. Yeah. Um, eating a grape. I don't really remember the context because I was like five, but I was mad for years. I wonder what happened. I'm so intrigued. Yeah. Mystery. Um, we're, we're sitting at like 40 minutes, so we might want okay. to do some um, to it. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do some quick fires. Uh, me and my two friends broke about three cups in the teacher's staff room unloading dishes. <laughs> That's very good. Once my teacher told me off because apparently my sneeze was too dramatic. <laughs> yes. I think I would have something similar. Um, I was writing my name in my own book with a, pe with a pencil and you got given a detention. Um, how dare you practice your handwriting firstly, mm. my good sir. Um, had to redo, redo an entire school project because I didn't cut the paper straight. I got a detention for smacking some girl in the head trying to get rid of a bee in her hair. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, a friend lost a precious item. We argued, she threw a shoe at me, and we got a detention. <laughs> uh, some kid fell over and broke his arm, so our school got banned from running for like two years. That's... A moment of silence for whoever thought banning running was the appropriate response to that. Um, a boy stabbed someone through the hand while playing the Hunger Games at lunch. Uh, it takes our Hunger Games to a whole new level. Stabbed someone through, through the hand. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Uh, teacher asked if any of us didn't want to do the activity she had planned. When I raised my hand, I was berated in front of the class for being ungrateful and obnoxious. Sorry for this reliever from year six that I didn't want to make origami boxes. <laughs> like, why give... Look, if you don't want an origami If you don't want to response, know the option, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple as that. Uh, me and my mate fell out because I used her twigs to make a tiny, tiny stick house when she wasn't there. Yikes. Where's the loyalty? Where is it? I searched it. Um, on the class. Is there like a connotation to this that we're out of we off and should skip? I searched a dude as a camel's hump on a class iPad and got banned for the rest of the year. I don't see anything weird in that. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if it's one of those things that's not weird until you search it. Is I'm it not like, going to find out. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, if we've, if we've, uh, if we've. I feel like if we're uncertain of it though, like surely most other people wouldn't. Yeah. There's, there might be like a few like niche people listening to this cackling right now. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. A dude, a dude as a camel's hump. Punched a kid in the nose. Yeah, you probably should get in trouble for that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, once, it, once had a girl tell the principal on me because I wouldn't share my sunscreen when I was like six. Just talking about hat safety. It's important. We've got to share. Girl hit me in the face with a tennis racket. Scarred too. Told everyone I did it myself. It was less embarrassing. What the heck? I would have put that person on blast. Yeah. I, I like, like it was them at I don't this know if it's time like obvious in now. this room. I have like this kind of like mark here. I'm, oh, like, There's like a line. Yeah, 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 very, very small. I like, yeah. it's, it used to be a lot more obvious when I was younger. I like walked into a door. Like, I, I don't know, I assumed someone had like held it <laughs> open for me and I wasn't really paying attention. I was like six or seven and I just like walked into it. That's very funny. Yeah. Okay, we're getting closer to the end of them and I really enjoyed reading this one. <laughs> I got my PE shed license taken away from me when a year six borrowed and lost my stilts. I remember the PE shed, man. Yeah, oh. PE shed was a good time. One time, a teacher told me and my friends off because she read our lips and we were being rude. I want to know what she thought you were saying. Yeah. Um. Don't remember getting in trouble, but one of my friends said I had enough power to start a war. So the first day of year three, I corrected the spelling of succeed and permanent marker on the whiteboard, had the teacher for the next two years, and she hated me for the whole time. <laughs> That's very fun. Interesting. 
cutting the class rubbers with a ruler, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, like, I, like sawing pencils and yeah, stuff. That yeah, was a yeah. good way to pass time. Turning like. rubbers into like a magic six ball or, that you like flip. Yeah, you yes. could do a lot you're of stuff. Like, you're like, see staring across the class and I'm like, kids still use pencils, really? right? <laughs> Yeah, I okay, prefer okay. using pencils. Really? Yes. I, I can control it better anyway. I would be that kind of person that's across tried, the class like, yelling pets? at you, being like, Siren's an idiot. Have you tried like it's a high yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried like a high coal pen? Yes, and I really like them, but they're also very expensive. Okay, okay. I like the uni ball jet stream, good pen. They're like eight bucks a pop. Um, um, I complained that it was cold, so I was told to stand outside to know what cold really feels like. Yikes. Some of these so like, these are just cruel, eh? They're just straight cruel. Um, I was starting to get sick and my teacher told me off for coughing during story time. How dare you? Uh, Painting somebody's back. I had to sweep the turf for the rest of the day. It's an art class gone wrong, eh? A friend of mine was standing up to a bully for me and broke a computer. All of us had to pay for it. I feel like breaking a computer is a pretty extreme action. Yeah, I want to know what happened. Uh, yeah. Did it come to blows? Um, I got in trouble for not handing in an assignment because someone else broke it. That's very unfortunate. That's like a dog ate my homework kind of a thing, eh? Yeah. Uh, my friend was crying to a Wattpad fanfic and our entire friend group got kicked out. Wattpad? Wattpad fanfic. Wattpad? I don't know. Wattpad, isn't that like a stationary brand? Am I being stupid what? right now? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Either way, I feel like that would make this funnier. I'm sorry that I'm not doing this justice. I put a guy's shoulder in your toe because he said I was too short and got sent to time out for three hours. Do nothing different. Do nothing different. Assert your power. It doesn't all come from height. Um, I got in detention for snapping the teacher's pencil in half. That's... Depends on how. Depends on how. Um, I've got my book bag. Book bags. And my teacher said she would put me in the naughty book. That's so mean. Um, I drew polka dots with Sharpie on my desk and got sent. <laughs> but like, who didn't carve something into a desk? Yeah, okay. Okay, one question the, though. The trick is not getting caught. Here's, here's, okay, I agree with you. In primary school, you should have damaged property. But, no, oh, no, but, no, no. But, but you know, you have a cheeky, cheeky pencil look, on the if, desk. if there's already like 30 years of graffiti yeah. on that desk, like... Here's my question. At primary school, you know, you're a kid, do whatever you want. Mm. Who's coming to university lectures and spending their time drawing art on the desks? What are you doing with your life? Mm. The university's caught on to this. I'm not sure if you realise. They started using better paints on the desks. So it can't, like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, more, it's like a more glossy paint. It's yeah. really hard to write on unless yeah, you pull yeah. out like a full-on sharpie. I think, I think it's one of those things, like, I would definitely say it was more first years. For sure. Yeah, Just possibly. people people who are probably yeah. in more like mandatory oh, courses is, okay. that they don't want to be in but have to attend. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's something that this is a third year course. I can't I can't go into too many details, they will become too real. But there's this there's this individual who comes to class every day, sits right in front of me, so I, I see it. And they take no notes on the lecture and they like essentially do like business meetings for like a youth like a like a youth organization. Mm. Like the whole lecture. They're like like they're doing work and right. it's not related to like the lecture. Like yeah. I don't understand why they're coming. And it's a third year course, so like like yeah. you don't have to be there. Yeah. And I find it really annoying. Like like I don't like I don't care every t ten minutes if you want to look at your phone, like do whatever. But like if you're just I gonna think... sit on your laptop and do something completely different the whole time, the other one is when people like play games or like what online sports? shopping. On I've and uh, online shopping. Online shopping. Yeah. I think the thing about the thing about that that annoys me, like, I, I get the whole, because people's argument is going to be, just don't look at them. It's really, when you're in a lecture theatre and it's tiered, yeah. and you have somebody in front of you scrolling. And lectures and, are, oh, you're finished. And, and you can see yeah. it, it's something's constantly moving on somebody's screen in the corner of your eye. It is very annoying. And it's difficult not to notice. Yeah, because... Le lecture theatres by nature are not a very, it's not a very visually stimulating or no. it's a, at all stimulating environment. All yeah. you have is like a lecturer walking at the front of the room and their voice. Like that's And it. maybe a cool animation if they so know how if, to use PowerPoint good. Yeah. And like, so like if someone's watching a video or doing online mm. shopping where you're having a large visual percentage of a screen like change in front yep. of you, it's really distracting. It is. I think 
like if you don't want to do work in that lecture, that's fine by me. I don't yeah. care, my human. I think use like your phone. Yeah, if you're on that's, your phone, you less can, obnoxious. as long as you're not watching a video, you can do pretty much anything on your phone and yeah. I won't notice. Yeah, I think it's, it, yeah, it's, it's when you can see a whole lot of people in front of you that you can see constantly like colors changing and, yeah, yeah. and constant scrolling and stuff like that. And I'm sitting behind a girl being like, girl, that is not your color. Don't choose that dress. Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's more annoying than you would think. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's my round for today. That was, yeah, that was a weird off last minute tangent. Did you what? have any last like primary school intermediate stories to share with the class? I don't think so really. Yeah. I remember one of my friends like convinced me to pay $5 for this key once. And I did it, and I was like, you're three, because I just wanted this key, but I didn't really like understand the value of money. It was just like a weird key. And then his mum gave the $5 back to me like two weeks later. It's very interesting. That's my best story. Key. Nah, I, no, it was like one of those like, oh, you Oh, know, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think my like worst yeah. primary school story where I actually did get in trouble and actually was at the time like quite serious. It was just like a, a long standing, fight between a group of girls who were like fighting over friends and stuff and it, it was just over the course of the whole year made yeah. me absolutely hate that year of school i was one of the people that was being like no she's hanging out with me today and i was like yeah. um hated it hated every moment of it um and it finally actually got to a head and teachers became aware of it and yeah. we ended up having to have like a meeting detention about it mm. <clears throat> but i don't cope well under situations where they either make me nervous or like uncertain yeah. and that was both and i was a child i was like, this is year three yeah, 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 year yeah. three and i had to sit we we all had to sit at like separate tables in this room for like a detention and like i don't know like think about what we've done or something like that and um again because i couldn't cope well like i i was actually like really really annoyed with myself inside like i was yeah. really like mad that i was there mad that it had gotten like that and all that kind of stuff um that's not how my body responded. Yeah. My body responded with like laughter and that's not the best thing for that situation. And so like I was sitting there and the te like teachers, I don't know, somewhere and I'm just like trying not to lose it. Like I'm trying not to giggle or smile yeah. or show any trace of emotion at all. Um, that didn't work because look at me. Um, and I got sent to sit on my own. I got, I got detention in the detention. <laughs> Yikes. Um, that was the first and only time I think I've ever actually like been in trouble yeah. at school. Yeah. And it was, it was such a stupid situation. Like it needed to be dealt with. Like yeah. teachers had to get involved at that point. Seriously, it was awful. But it was just a stupid situation. And I, again, I still can't cope well with uncomfortable situations. I end up laughing at the worst times. Yeah. I was really like, I was a real like goody two shoes child in like primary school. Apart from that, so was I. Yeah. I, I, I really hate conflict. A I hate that in life. Well, that's that's a story for another time. That's spicy. Yeah. Right. I think that's a good enough time to wrap up for today. Yeah. Right. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, next week we're gonna have a short episode for you on um, why year thirteen is the best year ever. Mhm. Mm I think. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna do and, that. And uh, yeah, if you and then we'll be back with a full length episode not next week but the week after. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas for future shows, actually, actually, if you have any questions, we're probably going to do a show soon where we bring in a guest and talk a little bit about money, yeah. finances, financial literacy. If you have any questions for that, you can let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we'll put a story up in a couple weeks' time. Very Thanks cool. so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.